Hey guys, Steve here at SKS Props. Today we're going to be making beverage insulators out of HD foam. Welcome to the shop. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button because I'm coming back with lots more tips and tricks for prop and costume fabrication. In today's video, we're going to be making some beverage insulators all out of my HD foam, which you guys, of course, can find over at Blick Art Materials. Now, with these beverage insulators, I have free templates over on my site, sksprops.com, and I'll, of course, have a link in the description. I have a free template for cups and another one specifically for cans. Now, with either one of these, the templates themselves are very simplistic because I want you guys to get creative and add a bunch of different details to them and then show me the results. Now, I'm going to show you guys the basic steps that I took to make this simple tankard here. We got a lot to do, so let's get started. Of course, the first thing to do is go to sksprops.com and download the template so you can build right along with the video. For this demonstration, I'm going to be making the holder for the cup, so I need to fabricate the side and bottom. Taking my sidewall rectangular template, I transfer that onto some 10mm HD foam along with the handle. I cut out this piece with a utility knife and then using a heat gun, I start to warm up the foam. This will allow me to roll it easier and it will retain the shape. And always remember when you're heating up foam to wear a respirator and do it in a well-ventilated area. You want to round over the foam to make the cylinder as seamless as possible. Two thin coats of contact cement are applied to each side and allowed to dry. Once both sides are dry, you can press them together. Now take your time with doing this so they line up just right. I know that I need a three and a half inch circle for the bottom of the cylinder, and rather than cutting that by hand, I break out my circle jig, attach that to my bandsaw, and make easy work of it. If you want to learn how to make your own circle jig, I'll have a link to that video above. Before gluing it in, I check for fit, and once I'm satisfied that it will work, I glue it in with some Bob Smith Super Glue. Now different foam sheets can vary in their thickness just slightly, so I insert the cup just to make sure that my fit is spot on. Moving on to the handle, I want it to be 20mm thick, so I use some contact cement to adhere two pieces of 10mm HD foam. The template only needs to be on one side, that way I can cut through both pieces and make sure they line up perfectly. It's going to be attached to the holder to cover most of the seam, so I just want to show that by marking it with a pencil. Now I can start adding the wood grain texture to the foam, and I do this using a medium grit sanding drum on my Dremel rotary tool. I press pretty hard for my first couple of passes to identify the individual boards. After those are marked out, I round over the top and then start to apply the detail lines using a lighter touch. You always want to pull to the right because of the way that the drum spins, so after I'm done going one direction, I flip the entire piece to get varying lines. It's looking pretty good, but I want some of these lines to be a little bit sharper, so I switch over to a stone bit. This will allow me to really cut into the foam, but keep the lines extremely crisp. After the wood grain texture is complete, I heat seal the entire piece. Just because the heat can warp the foam a little bit, I check fit with the cup and it fits in there nice and snug. Going back to the handle, I would like for this to have a contrast to the cup, so I think a hammered metal application would look great next to the wood grain. This hammered metal appearance is also achieved by using the medium grit sanding drum. Making sure to move all over the piece, once complete, it is also sealed using a heat gun. I can now attach the handle to the holder, and to make sure that it's nice and stable, I'm going to be doing my double adhesive method, so I'm using a little bit of contact cement and Bob Smith Super Glue. To give the handle a little more reinforcement, I'm going to be cutting two strips of 6mm HD foam, approximately 15 inches long. These will represent metal bands that will wrap around the entire piece. The hammered metal look is also applied to these strips and then heat sealed once complete. Glued into place, these strips wrap around the wood grain texture and attach to either side of the handle. So they look really cool, but the great thing is they're actually functional by helping to distribute the weight. I want some fake rivets along these metal bands, so I'm going to use my leather hole punch, but you could also use a paper punch or googly eyes. Little dabs of super glue were laid down, and then all the rivets were put into place using tweezers. 
These are small details, but these are the types of things that give your piece a more authentic look. To break up the look of the wood grain, I'm going to add a couple of shield crests. The template for these was traced onto some 6mm HD foam. They were cut out by hand and they refined using a rotary tool. I once again used a heat gun so I could bend them a little bit to match the curve of the cup. The shields were then glued into place with some super glue and then the fake rivets were added to them as well. Now these shields looked a little too perfect so I went back with my rotary tool and gave them that hammered metal look. So you guys can see the basic steps that it takes to put together some simple yet unique beverage insulators. Now again, look at this as a creative experiment. Go to my website, download the templates for these, and then add a ton of different details to them, but be sure to tag me on Twitter and Instagram so I can see your progress. Now hopefully you guys are enjoying these videos, and if you are, give them a thumbs up and share them with your friends and family. And until next time, thanks for stopping by.